At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is brought to you in part by One Nevada Credit Union, where right now you can refinance your auto loan with rates as low as 2.98% and no payments for 90 days for qualified members. Call us today for details. 775-751-9880. News 46 is also brought to you by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino. Located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160, you can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500 or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. News is also brought to you by Hope Counseling Services, where we specialize in behavioral health, inspiring hope for a brighter tomorrow. Call 775-727-0101 for more information. Tonight on News 46, an amended lawsuit is filed against the town. And nine girls vie for a crown at the Saddle West. Excess Town Vehicles are now up for auction. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Zach Fuentes and Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Hey, good evening. It's Friday, July 27, 2012. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. Nye County Republican Central Committee Chairperson Bill Carnes has filed an amended lawsuit against the town of Pahrump for repealing Pahrump Town Ordinance No. 46. Yeah, we filed an amended complaint against the town for their unlawful repeal of PTO 46 on June 12th at that meeting, which is starting to become somewhat legendary around town now. Um, we did a couple of things. First of all, uh, you had myself as uh, an individual plaintiff, along as, uh, as well as Edmund Gubron, who's our vice chairman, as an individual plaintiff, and the NCRCC as an organization as a plaintiff. Um, we, one of the things we do is we drop the NCRCC as one of the plaintiffs, reason being that injured parties must be individual registered voters of the town of Pahrump. And the NCRCC is an organization, and we have registered voters throughout the entire county. Uh, so we've deemed that that would be prudent to do that. Uh, that way we can have the two individuals actually go in and argue this case. On top of that, we, we removed the complaints of the form in which they went about repealing the ordinance based on state law, mainly because what we want to do is we want to have this, uh, this ordinance judged specifically on the ability of an ordinance itself to uphold itself when it comes to lawful activity. For instance, it says directly in PTO 46, in very plain, clear, and concise language, that the uh, town board waives its rights to repeal the ordinance, and any repeal must abide by state law and go to a vote of the people. Well, the town board robbed us of that. They robbed us, everybody in Pahrump who's a registered voter, they robbed all of us the ability to have our voices hear, heard and voted to repeal this. That's why we're referring to it as an illegal action because the ordinance has full force and effect of law. So we're fighting it specifically on those grounds. To view the extended interview with Bill Carnes, go to KPVM's YouTube page. Well, coverage of the opening ceremony of the, Olympic, the, the London 2012 Olympics begins at 7.30 p.m. tonight on NBC before an audience that will not include not just the Queen herself, who officially opens the Games, but athletic, political, and even showbiz royalty. The opening ceremony itself is greatly anticipated. Directed by Britain's Danny Boyle from Slumdog Millionaire, the extravaganza is titled Isle of Wonder and was inspired by William Shakespeare's play The Tempest. The ceremony will culminate in a performance by Sir Paul McCartney.
very exciting. Well, over the next 17 days, NBC is planning to telecast a record 5,535 hours of Olympics coverage from London on nine different channels, including the NBC Broadcast Network, MSNBC, Bravo, and NBC Sports. By comparison, NBC showed just 2,000 hours of the 2008 Beijing Games. It's going to be the most digital-friendly Olympics as well. All athletic events will be available for viewing live online. Fans can watch events on their laptops by turning to NBCOlympics.com or on their smartphones, I know you love those, yes. with the app NBC Olympics Live Extra. And as we head into our break, let's go to Jeff Simmons to find out what's happening at the Prump Nugget and Lakeside. Hello, I'm Jeff Simmons, the bingo director here at the Prump Nugget Hotel Casino. We'll start off with our stage bar here at the Nugget. We have Randy Anderson, that's uh, Friday and Saturday night, till 6 o'clock, till midnight. Come on down, We've got some great country music. And also, tomorrow night, which is Saturday, uh, at uh, Lakeside, we're having an outdoor concert with Deuce Coop. That starts at 4 o'clock. They're having a barbecue and all kinds of things. The concert is free to everybody, so come on down and check that out. And then we got the bingo here at the Nugget. Uh, every Saturday in August, we're going to have an 18-game special. This is at 1 o'clock every Saturday, and it consists of uh, $5 and $10 packs. They pay $5, pays $10, uh, $5 pays $50. The $10 packs pay $100. And the coveralls is 200 or 400, and we are playing 18 games. So we'll have specials if you want to buy like buy five of that same color and get two free. So come on down in Saturday at the Nugget. We're gonna have a lot of fun at that special. We'll also give away free gifts. And let's see, when everything else is staying about the same, we got the lower buy-ins every day at the 11 and the 1, and all day on Sunday and Mondays. And we got the no split pots every night at 9 p.m. That's every night. All right, looking forward to seeing everybody here. You guys have a great day. Bye bye. Rump Nugget is giving away a laptop every day in the month of July at 8 p.m. Earn three times the entries on Sundays. Ask about our bingo specials, lower buy-ins, higher payouts, and free gifts. Where the fun never stops, the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. And welcome back. Nine local beauties will be competing tomorrow night for the title of Miss Pahrump. The current queen, which Rachel Mon, will be handing down the crown during the event, which will be held at the Saddle West. All kinds of backgrounds together as far as the young women. Some are dancers, some have never even tried it before, and we are just thrilled with how well they have come and how far they have come. And yeah. uh, it's been a really fun experience working with them. And yeah. so it's going really well. We have our dress rehearsal tonight, and so we'll be able to see it all put together basically and then be ready for the production tomorrow. How many girls do we have? We have nine contestants, mm -hmm. and I believe five of those are going to be entering freshmen, and I think we have two seniors and one junior. Wow. Yeah. Even to your own daughter. Yes, yes, she's going to be in it. We have to uh, tell everybody that we're going to be bringing in judges from outside yes. of Pahrump that just to make correct. sure that everything is fair. And not only that, I don't know who the judges are, which is by plan, and so we've signed that to one of the other pageant uh, uh, directors. And so just to make sure that everyone, that no one can say that there has been any um, uh, preferential treatment anywhere. What categories will we be seeing tomorrow night? We are going to actually, um, in the morning, the girls are going to have closed uh, competitions beginning at, well, actually, it begins at 8.30. The, the uh, judges come in and they will judge photogenic. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they will have interview sessions with each one of the girls. Mm -hmm. And that will go from 9 o'clock until about 10.30. And then at 10.45 in the Saddle West showroom, we're going to begin the talent portion mm -hmm. of the uh, pageant. And that's where all nine contestants will perform their talent. Mm -hmm. And they will be judged before the evening mm -hmm. uh, competition. Um, then that evening uh, at 6.30, we're going to have their production number, which Rachel was the choreographer for, and it's just adorable. You will enjoy it. Then uh, they move from that into sportswear competition. Then we see the top talents. We're not sure, probably four to five talents in the evening as well. And then we move from that competition into formal wear competition, 
uh, and then we have the crowning of Miss Perump. I did want to mention, though, that um, the talent portion in the morning at 1045 is open to the public and is free. Wow, Anybody are. can come to that. Yeah. So if anybody wants to attend this set the Sound West uh, tomorrow night, um, get there a little bit early for seating. Yes. It begins at 6.30. That's correct. And the reason they want to be there a little bit early is it's first come, first serve. We have a VIP section and then, of course, general seating. Um, but both of those are still first come, first serve. And News 46 just learned that Amy Tarkanian will be a judge for the Miss Prompt pageant. Nevada Public Auction will be holding a competitive sale tomorrow for Excess Town vehicles at their location on Margaret Street and another auction on Sunday on Jackie Street. Yes, that's correct. Uh, tomorrow we're selling excess vehicles once again. As you can see around me, we have a uh, good variety of vehicles. We have both town uh, vehicles, county vehicles. What's noteworthy are the two ambulances. The, uh, both the county and the town have come on board with a new program that immediately upon a vehicle being identified as excess to ensure they recuperate the most uh, money they can out of that vehicle rather than let them accumulate they bring them down and we auction them off right away the uh, they also are in better shape if they're not sitting around huh? oh yes yes uh, like i say if you look behind me you know here's a good example uh chief lewis and his guys the minute these two ambulances became excess they cleaned them up, sent them right down here. You know, that's a good example on them doing their part to save us taxpayers as much money as they can, along with the uh, Bob Jones's folks on the county vehicles. And Two Star. Yes, Two Star does lien sales once a month or about once every two months. So we've partnered with Two Star now, and we combine them all into one big auction. We're averaging uh, these type of auctions about once a quarter. So it works out good for Two Star, the county, and obviously the town. You have a very active uh, website for this where you put up these vehicles. So this will not be just for the town of Pahrump. People can bid from all over the place. Yeah, um, normally that's what we do. And because we have a small amount of vehicles this time, we haven't put this on the uh, as far as worldwide bidding. So this will give everybody in Pahrump a chance to come down and get a decent vehicle at a decent price and try to keep the assets in Pahrump this time. There you go. And uh, some of these vehicles are really in fantastic condition. Oh, some of them are amazing. You know, there's a couple uh, ex-police cars over here. Probably one of the nicest vehicles is behind you, that uh, Tioga RV over there. Wow. It's a 97, and if you were to walk into it, it looks like it's a brand spanking new one. There you go. So tell us all the particulars on uh, the auction. Okay, the auction will be Saturday at 10 o'clock, 800 Margaret Street. You can come by all day today and preview, and tomorrow you can preview from 8 in the morning right up until auction time. Now, what's unusual this weekend is we're only doing vehicles here on Saturday. On Sunday, we will be out doing a big estate sale auction on Jackie Street. If you go to the website, www.auctionnv.com, it leads to all the directions, the details, and we're looking forward to a pretty exciting weekend. And for more information, is there a number that they can call if they don't have a computer for that website? They can call my cell at 775-513-9361. And we're going to have more local news for you after the break, so please keep it here.